Personal connection on the Elma Combo. Well, I've I've seen two shows there. I saw Jeff Healy and I saw Edgar Winner back in the late 80s, living in Toronto. But the Elma Combo, they were hosting the Cars, Teenage Head, the Ramones, all these early punk new wave bands played there. Great history for rock, especially Canadian acts. It's a great venue to be a part of and play. I was born in Brampton, just outside of Toronto. This is why <laughs> when this project came up, it was a given. I have to do it. <laughs> Car theme or Canada theme, let me have it, please. <laughs> I'm Ron Thorne, proud to introduce the Elma Combo Strat and Telly set. The Elma Combo is a club in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which just happens to be my hometown. Elvis Costello played there. U2 played there. The Stones recorded one side of one of their live albums there. In the guitar circle, most people know it from the Stevie Ray Vaughan Live at the Elma Combo video, which is an amazing performance. I'm glad that it's back. It was closed for a few years during the renovation, and the Elma Combo donated this wood, which was either rafters and floor joists. It was a variety of building materials in the club and ended up being some amazing, lightweight, resonant pine, which is perfect for bodies for Fender guitars. The big part of the Elma Combo is that neon sign. They have a very famous palm tree neon sign, which glows green and yellow. It's very bright and vivid. And the initial concepts were, let's do something green and yellow with the guitars. But once we got into the lumber and realized just how much character there was into it, it seemed like a shame to cover that up. We don't need any color. It's just beautiful exactly how it is. I'm always honored to work with historic timbers of any sort, and uh, makes me feel like I'm doing it justice. We're gonna be making a batch of strats and tellies, tracing out the orientation of how I'm gonna, what's gonna be a telly, what's gonna be a strat. Look at, the, look at the growth rings right there. So that's over 100 years, just on the tree being that diameter. Who knows how large this tree was and how old it was before it became this floor joist. These are the fretboards, this is African blackwood. That sounds so good, so musical. And then for the neck blanks, it's medium roasted, quarter sawn, Canadian maple, trying to keep as much Canada going as possible. There it is, there's what it's gonna take. As a floor joist, it's cool. As a guitar, come on. <laughs> that tree's gotta be happy. Again, the, the Stevie Ray Vaughan influence, kind of, I kind of pulled from that a bit. So I put 6100 jumbo wire on here, Stevie's preferred wire, and the pickups are on the hot side. This is a 69, this is a 65, and then a Texas Special in the bridge, all hand wound by Josefina. So it's definitely a hot guitar. It has the fat 50s wiring, which means the tone pot comes off the center lug off of the volume. Just a little little tweak, retain some of the high end when you roll it down. The telly has the twisted telly in the neck and then the telly version of the Texas Special in the bridge. And with the big jumbo wire, just keeping it a hot rockin' telly. A lot of grind and growl coming out of this set. It's a definite rock guitar. There's a few little details. Gold mother of pearl, just to kind of tie in with the gold hardware, and that's not common on a Fender. And then this gold mother of pearl palm tree logo on the first fret. On the neck plates, it has the Elma Combo logo on there with my signature overlaid on top of it. That's it. It's enough so that you know there's something special about this pair. It's gonna to be tough to top as far as a project, both from a personal standpoint and how they sound and what they look like. These are these are special guitars. Then you put in the tie-in of where the timber's been for the last 80 years, um, then it, it makes it a little extra special in that sense. You know, I, I think each project just means something a little bit different. I'm still a Canadian citizen, I'll never give that up, so I still kind of feel like this is even more a part of me than anything I've built here so far. But I'm proud 
and I'm, I'm extremely proud of the instruments too.